hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to get this quick and easy glam for all my hard working mamas out there that are on a time crunch so moving right along we're starting off by prepping our eyelids with urban decay primer potion in the shade eden and yes i do bring that up to my brows and this helps keep the eyeshadow and eyebrows in place now, I do already have an eyebrow tutorial, and I'll provide you guys with the link in the description bar below. But in that video, I basically gave you guys two options of how I do my brows. One being the soft brow, and the other being the bold brow. And for this, since this is supposed to be a quick and effortless look, um, I'm going with the softer brow option. And then I'm going in and cleaning up under the brow using MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. And I'm also going to bring that onto the eyelid space. And this is just going to give me a clean canvas to work on. As far as the eyeshadow look is concerned, I'm only using three shades. A lid color, a transition color, and a brow bone highlight. So I'm going in with the MAC and Patrick Star collaboration palette in the palette called Go Getter. And I'm picking up this soft brown shade on a fluffy blending brush. Going back and forth in windshield wiper motions and also circular motions helps blend everything out seamlessly. Now going in with a flat shader brush, I'm picking up the shade Chopper from this Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lids. Now normally I go in and highlight my brow bone with a shiver tone. So instead we're going in with this matte shade from the same palette, and that is in the shade Foxy. I'm gonna keep it soft and simple and just line the upper lash line using an angled brush and the blackout eyeshadow from the same Urban Decay palette. As you can see, it does make quite a difference. Now, a trick to create the illusion of fuller lashes, I go in and tight line my eyes using a black pencil. So again, since we're not going in with a lash strip or any falsies, I'm just gonna focus on curling as much as possible my natural lashes and coating them quite a bit with Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara in the shade Very Black. For the face, as always, I'm going to go in and color correct under my eyes using the Orange Concealer Corrector from LA Girl Pro Concealer. And for foundation, I'm going in with my NARS that everyone is raving about. And I'm going to apply that using my Real Techniques Buffer Brush. And I'm only going in with two pumps. Now this foundation is already pretty pigmented. So I'm just going to use just two pumps and apply that throughout the entire face. Now applying it with the buffer brush gets in more areas a lot quicker, and so that's the purpose behind that. Normally I go in with the flat brush, but you guys will see my whole review on this foundation in a later video. So moving right along, instead of concealer, I decided to use that same foundation and just bring that up right under my eyes. And the brush that I'm using is by Real Techniques and it is their pointed foundation brush. And I'm just patting everything in place. And I'm also just spot concealing in areas that I feel need a little bit more coverage instead of going in with another layer foundation. 
And the last thing I'll do is go over those areas with the same buffer brush, but no more product and just blend everything out. And now we're just setting everything in place using my translucent powder, also from the MAC and Patrick Stars collab. But I'm setting lightly, no baking here. Now I do want to add a little bit of warmth to the perimeters of my face because everything looks too flat. So I'm going in with MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun and just applying that in areas where I would normally contour. So my cheekbones, the temples of my forehead. I'm also going to bring that a little bit down the sides of my nose for a subtle, slight subtle contour. Applying a little bit of translucent powder on the sides of the nose outside the lines that we drew in for the contour helps create that illusion of a more defined nose. And as always, I'm going in with my NYX Strictly Chic Blush. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to use the same angled brush. And I'm going to outline the lower lash line, leaving the waterline bare. And this just helps open up the eyes a bit. Going back in with Chopper on a pencil brush and highlighting the inner tear ducts of my eye. And finishing off with a light layer of mascara on the lower lash line as well. A light shade of lipstick with a light gloss on top finishes this look. And there you have it, my quick and easy makeup for work for beginners. And if you guys are interested in seeing a more advanced look, then let me know in the comment sections below. Until next time, thank you all so much for watching.